I'm sorry to say, but I don't have a test for a guy with albinism. Angela Kitty has been in love before. Her relationship was far from what she'll term as ideal. What hurt her most is the fact that her boyfriend then was embarrassed of her. I have, date, I have been in several relationships for about three with Kenyans, but they haven't worked because they were not proud of me. Some were not proud of my son. She forced herself to remain in the relationship despite the ups and downs and eventually got a baby. Her biggest fear was giving birth to an albino. This would see her get into depression for nine months. I was under depression for nine months. Just praying to God I get a normal kid. That was my prayer because I thought my child would go through the same what I went through with albinism. Years later, she has tried to love again. She's currently dating a Ugandan. All she hopes is that her disability will not interfere with what might turn out to be a happy ever after. He's an artist and a designer. He's proud of me and everybody is proud of us. He's just proud of me. He's proud of my son. And uh, yeah, the rumor says he is proposing in January when I land in Uganda. Kitty is not the only one who has suffered such fate. Ne kutuzangeneze shima na kuweza kutuendeleza. Jinsi mna vyoweza na sisi tushiriki kwenye taratibu zote za kijamii. Albinism is a comparatively rare genetically inherited condition. It causes pale skin which burns easily in the sun, virtually white hair, very severe short sight and photophobia. Salome Murore, Switch TV.